Chapter 3097 begins with Erica arriving at Shiloh's apartment, determined to punish her for the affair with her husband. Without warning, she slaps Shiloh hard across the face, leaving her bleeding from the mouth and imprinted with finger marks. However, one slap does not satisfy her fury. She grabs her bag and repeatedly hits Shiloh while hurling insults, calling her all manner of degrading names. The confrontation quickly turns physical as Shiloh tries to defend herself, and the two women engage in a fierce fight. Their fight makes a lot of noise, drawing the attention of neighbors. Because it is a Sunday night and most people are home, several neighbors come out to see what is happening. They are hesitant to intervene, unsure of the situation, but it quickly becomes clear that Erica, the wife, has caught her husband's mistress. This revelation sparks a reaction among the onlookers, and some of them start recording the fight on their phones. As the brawl intensifies, she rips Shiloh's skimpy pajamas, adding humiliation to the physical altercation. Shiloh, despite the beating, fights back, but the situation takes a darker turn when Marco, fresh out of the shower, hears the commotion and rushes out to intervene. Upon seeing his wife and mistress fighting, he makes a shocking decision. He kicks his wife, Erica, off of Shiloh. Erica, caught off guard, falls to the ground in pain. Instead of stopping the fight or helping his wife, his action aligns him with Shiloh, deepening Erica's sense of betrayal. Shiloh takes advantage of Marco's intervention, grabbing Erica by the hair and slapping her repeatedly across the face. The intense pain and humiliation make Erica see stars, but instead of backing down, she becomes even more enraged. Realizing that Marco has chosen to protect Shiloh rather than his wife, she channels her anger into a vicious headbutt that forces Shiloh to release her grip. In a quick maneuver, she gets the upper hand, straddling Shiloh and wrapping her hands around her neck. Her intention is clear. She wants to strangle Shiloh, believing that this act of violence will finally end the misery Shiloh has caused her. Marco horrified by the sight of his wife choking Shiloh, kicks Erica repeatedly in an attempt to free his mistress. Despite his efforts, Erica refuses to let go. He eventually resorts to pulling Erica's hands off Shiloh, allowing her to breathe. Once freed, Shiloh struggles to regain her breath, but instead of fleeing, she attacks Erica again. Shiloh grabs Erica's neck, choking her, while Marco restrains his wife, making it impossible for Erica to defend herself. At this moment, it becomes clear that he has fully sided with Shiloh, completely abandoning any loyalty to his wife. Just as things take a deadly turn, Catherine arrives on the scene. Seeing Erica in danger, she quickly assesses the situation and takes decisive action. She rushes behind Shiloh and delivers a forceful blow to the back of her neck, knocking her unconscious. While Shiloh neutralized, Catherine turns her anger on Marco, slapping him across the face. This slap seems to jolt Marco back to reality, and he finally releases his hold on Erica. Exhausted and emotionally shattered, Erica collapses to the ground. As she lies there, her heart grows cold. The realization of her husband's betrayal hits her harder than any physical blow. After more than a decade of marriage and raising children together, Marco has chosen to protect Shiloh, the woman who destroyed their marriage instead of his wife. When Erica had tried to strangle Shiloh, Marco fought to save his mistress, but when Shiloh attacked Erica, he held his wife down, allowing Shiloh to hurt her. This is the final straw for Erica. 
lying on the ground, she comes to a clear decision. Her marriage is over. She no longer sees the point in fighting to keep her husband, and for the first time, divorce seems like the only option. This moment of clarity signals a dramatic shift in Erica's mindset. No longer willing to endure the humiliation and betrayal, she resolves to end her marriage and take control of her life. 